Hello, my name is Randa Lopez Morgan, and I am the Events and Programming Librarian at LSU, as well as the liaison to the College of Agriculture. Many times when you get to college, professors assume you just know how to do research, but that's not always the case. Research can be super frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. So what can I do to help? I can help you find resources for your papers. I can teach you how to use the databases and help you with citations. I can also help you with a research game plan where we sit down and figure out the best words to use for your search. I cannot write your papers or tell you if your paper is good or not. The CXC is available for all paper writing needs. They do a great job and I highly recommend them. Today, we are going to be looking at the TAM 2042 Research Guide. The best way of getting to this guide is first by logging into your MyLSU, then selecting Library Resources on the left-hand side of the page, then LSU Libraries homepage. From there, you will select Research Guide in the middle of the page and scroll down to your TAM 40, 2042 guide right here. This guide might also be linked in your Moodle. This guide does not cover everything that the library has to offer. It's a starting place for your research. For most people, this will have everything you need for your paper. However, for some, you might need to look outside of the guide for other sources. I often tell students that this guide is like looking through the window of a house. When you look through a window, you only see a small bit of the house and not the whole house itself. I didn't want to overwhelm you with resources. The homepage tab gives a good overview on what is in the guide as well as some information about interlibrary loans, which is the best way of getting access to books and journals that the library doesn't have. On the resources tab, we have a lot of great resources for your projects. The first tab is background resources. These are things you may need to do background research. We have the U.S. Census Bureau to help you find data on populations and the Berg Fashion Library. I like the Berg Fashion Library because it has a fantastic timeline feature. This can help, get, help you get an idea of fashion throughout time. You can see how fashion evolves and how things that were in style like 200 years ago are still seen today. This database also has some great resources to help you understand terms you may not be familiar with. There are, be aware that some of these are encyclopedia resources and some professors don't want you to use those for your papers. Check with your professor to see what she prefers. This second tab is all about fashion resources that we have at LSU. The first database is ArtStore. It uses images from the world's leading museums, archives, scholars, artists, etc. This can be another fantastic place to get ideas. You might notice similar images in Berg that are also in ArtStore. I like the filtering in here as well. You can filter by classification and by geography, which can be very helpful. Technology, Textile Technology Complete is a great database that has peer-reviewed journals as well as books, conference proceedings, theses, and more. The Vogue archive is neat because it has all of the Vogues dating back to the very first one and it even has the most recent title. I love this because you can get an idea of how advertising has evolved as well as what people thought we were went into way back when. Windowsware is great for visual merchandising and retail design. You do have to log in to use this, but the steps are below and are pretty easy to follow. You can also submit your own student projects to be eligible for the Windowsware Student Awards as well as their mentorship program. Finally, there's Windowsware Daily, which is a popular magazine but can still be useful in the fashion industry. Unfortunately, it is full text only, so no images, which is very frustrating, but you can do a free interlibrary loan for any articles that you may need. Through the industry information and research database, we have both Business Source Complete and Discovery. While they are very similar, Business Source Complete focuses more on business peer review journals, whereas Discovery is multidisciplinary. I usually like starting my research in Discovery just to see what's out there. If I did a quick search on fast fashion and then filter to full text and scholarly peer reviewed journals, I can see almost a thousand results. Selecting a title I like, I can read the PDF full text. I can also email it to myself or my friends. And I can also cite it. A word of caution. The citation feature is not perfect. You will need to double check those citations to make sure they have what your professor is looking for. They are computer generated. However, this can be a perfect starting place if you're like me and we're terrible at citations. You can also use the permalink to send it to your friends. 
not the link at the top. That's session dependent. This one will disappear. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. This one right here. If we go back to the research guide, you can see eMarketer, IBIS World, Orbis, and Rack, and they're all very similar and allow you to get different reports on different industries. You can use these databases to look up also companies. These databases can be a bit confusing at first, but there are some interesting things in them once you get to digging. The Statistics tab is great for getting data. My favorite database out of these two is Statista. This database is great if you need charts and graphs. If I search athletic shoes, I can get consumer market reports and even charts for different with different polls. These polls are neat because they allow you to see where they got this information. You can download the charts and you can also get more details about the survey itself. There is a section within Statista that we don't have access to, and those are the market outlooks. Um, you can browse through them to get ideas about what's in them, but they don't actually allow you to download them, unfortunately. This last tab is the Online Resources tab. These may not be peer-reviewed, but they can still be great resources to find information on colors, trends, and even just images and what's popular now. Just because these are popular resources don't mean that they can't still be useful for your research. This last tab is the Additional Help tab. You can schedule an appointment with me. So go to Agriculture, and then my name, and select any date or time that works for you. I do ask that you give me as many details about what you're working on before our meeting so I have some time to look up your research questions. This is connected to my calendar, so if I have free time, it is yours. Um, we will be doing these meetings over Zoom, so I will send you a link to meet with me. If it's been a while since you've done any research, we do have information literacy tutorials that can help you out. They are super in-depth. Also, we have some great information on how to avoid plagiarism. Don't just copy anything. Make sure you cite your sources. This is the easiest way. Also, we have information on how to cite your images and how to do that properly. A lot of people don't realize that you actually have to do that, but yes, you do. Uh, so again, here's that link for the CXC writing support and also how to use citation management software. But this is about it. If you need help, just let me know. Uh, research, again, can be super extremely frustrating, even for the experts. So don't be afraid to reach out if you have any questions. My job is literally to help you out, and I'm only a Zoom meeting away. Um, if we are ever back on campus, stop by and visit me in the library. Uh, and then if I'm ever out for whatever reason, any of the librarians can help you. They're a fantastic group of humans, and they love helping students. So thank you.